Thank you. Welcome back, everyone. This is Robert at Custodian File. Today is May 16. Let's just jump in. This is Chip in Florida, just recording airplanes over his, over his house. And sure enough, this is all it takes. There's these small UFOs flying around right in front of us. Very small, very fast, 2,000 miles an hour, and they do trigger the X and K band uh, spectrum about 8% of the time. And they make an audio sound about 8% of the time that your video will detect. So Chip, thank you very much. You're hitting it out of the park. You're making it look easy. And technically it is kind of easy too. Um, and it's fun. And it can be somewhat addicting. Uh, once you get one dragon, you want 10 more. And then after you have 10, you want 100. So it's kind of fun. So I'm just putting it out there. Uh, let's go to the next video. Okay, super. I wanted to just show you this picture real quick. Brand new technology in Iceland. Essentially, it's an air scrubber. It's going to clean the air on the planet. I know, super amazing, right? Um, the thing is, uh, and I, I think it's it's a brilliant idea. It's, it's just a matter of where's the electricity going to come from. Are we going to use uh, dirty electricity to clean the air? So the whole concept is uh, this will work, but you have to use uh, green electricity and even electricity almost technically free. And I'm going to do a I'm going to do a uh, custodian file on this. But uh, long story short, we have an unlimited amount of electricity uh, in Yellowstone. As you know, the only thing you need to make electricity is hot water. Nuclear power stations, um, basically they boil water. That's their function. They boil a lot of hot water. If you have hot water, if you have unlimited hot water, you have unlimited electricity. Sounds too good to be true. Well, Yellowstone has unlimited hot water. So my point is, uh, uh, now I'll write down all the uh, all the advantages. I re really don't know any negative advantages, but um, if you uh, if you figure it all out, Yellowstone can generate enough electricity for the planet, uh, and therefore basically solve the energy crisis. And then we can build like uh, five thousand of these air scrubbers and clean the air on the planet, and it won't uh, it won't. Uh, we won't fall behind as far as pollution goes. I'll revisit this later. I just wanted to put that out there. This is where we're going. All right, let's go to the next video. Okay, this is Chip in Florida recording the Thunderbirds. They came by and uh, sure enough, look at this. This, uh, he's, this dragon slowed way down, way down and approached the uh, jet. So what I did was I went on YouTube. I looked at other people's videos and let me show you the other uh, dragons I found on YouTube. People are posting, and they don't even know it's there. Let's go for it. Great, here's one more chip video where this, uh, look at this, look at this dragon it's behind the tent and is, starts off vertical, it goes up, it goes down. They're sprinters, by the way, they're sprinters. They go up and they go down. Very predictable. Uh, they don't stay in the air very long. They're not marathon runners. Uh, here is a, another, I believe, uh, that that's, yeah, that's a dragon. Yeah, I found this on YouTube. That's a real dragonfly. Amazing. That's why I call these things dragons, but that's a real dragonfly. And the one previous was actually a real UFO small dragon. There it is. There's the timeline. There's the IP of both ones, the, uh, the UFO and the real dragon. There it is. This is slowed down. That's, that's the real puppy right there all in a blink of an eye, all in the blink of an eye. And then that's a real dragonfly. You can see how slow it is, very recognizable. It's not fuzzy, not blurry. It's very long. You can see four wings on it. So there you go. All right, let's go to the next video. Look at this, here's a video from six years ago. I was just uh, cruising through all my library. And here we go. It looks like it could have been recorded today. Same format, slowed down to 3%. Look at this dragon coming in. It's easily outrunning the rotor blade, easily. 
So this is the same old format. The police come in fr uh, from Malibu, they come in from the north, they fly south, they go down the coastline, and then they make a hard left turn right over the jetty rocks. That's why you see the profile of the chopper. And boom, right in the same spot, in the same corner, uh, the same zip code in the sky. Basically within a 500 or 1,000 foot radius, the dragon comes by all the time, which is very predictable. I really like, what I like about this is the blue sky. The blue skies are just right now are hard to come by in the marina, just very hard to come by. So this one was like, I mean, you can see the serial number on it. That's the 913. Um, so again, it's just re extremely repeatable, right? If you see a thousand of these videos and these things fly by, the helicopter's at the exact same spot in the sky. Really, come on at this point, what's going on? Just how obvious, how much more obvious do they have to make it? Uh, same identical spot, same, and that was six years ago. It looks like I could have just took it today. So I'll show you some other old videos from six, seven years ago also, but it's just, mind-boggling right you just close you you're like no what are you you're, some of you i know you're probably saying robert what are you what are you talking about these things fly by at the exact same spot with predictability yes 100 percent, 100 percent. give it a try pull out your phone record helicopters uh, if you're in los angeles come to marina del rey record helicopters all right let's go to the next okay real quick i showed you this uh uh, last week, this is the Coast Guard flying grids over the ocean, right in front of Marina Del Rey. From Marina Del Rey down to Manhattan Beach, back and forth, back and forth. At the same time, the research vessel is parked right there in front of them, the Ocean um, Titan. So the point is, they're doing everything they can, right? I mean, I mean, they're doing everything right. You, uh, you get research vessels, you get sophisticated equipment in the air, you fly grids and you, you try to figure this out. So the point is, um, why am I showing you this again? Because uh, the LiDAR people have come back again, again, and they're flying grids. Let me show you that. Okay, here we go. We got another uh, grid finder. This is the LiDAR. This is the LiDAR, the 220. He's been around for a few years. He pops in and out, in and out. Um, obviously looking, looking for something. Uh, I can't read his mind, but it's kind of obvious. Uh, what are you guys looking for? Remember uh, last week, the, uh, the 216 was, 216 was flying around doing grids over Marina Del Rey. So it's, it's amazing. All this effort is being done and nothing is being said. I mean, help me out here. What do we do? We're measuring air pollution. What are we doing? What, what are we? What are we looking? What we're looking for missing people? Just seriously, what's going on? Who's spending all this money? What are we looking for? So, just putting the news out there. Just recording data and sharing it. It's obvious. It's very obvious that um, a, a lot of information is not being told to us a lot and it's happening right in front of us and fortunately with all these computers and cameras and plane finder here is all the data and let me know what you think share your thoughts all right let's go to the next video super okay um, we're gonna end with on this video this is from uh, John at Las Latchkey Hustle he was he was able to record two aircraft that's kind of hard to do, but two aircraft, one of them being a Black Hawk, and look at this. He caught a UFO, UAP dragon just flying in between them, which you're supposed to, actually. That's how it works. That's the science. Very predictable textbook video. Very textbook. If you're not recording dragons, if you're following the format, you're not recording dragons, keep recording them because something's not right. Uh, they're right there in front of all of us. Just turn your phone on, landscape, and record. They're very fast. Look for a tiny dot. All right, that will do it for today. This is Robert at Custodian File. Thank you for watching. Take care.